Yo, what up, Big Banco? This is EBs. And we just hopped out the park with Dirty Glove Bastard. Cha ching! Oh, already. Scandalous, steady blowing on my phone, but she won't keep me slipping. I knew about all alone. She's scandalous. All right, so we got my boy Banco jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. What's going on, man? Good to be here, bro. You know, uh, out the porch being been a part of my life for over 10 years, man. I've been huh. watching y'all for a minute. Appreciate that, bro. That's love, yeah, man. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, man. Who'd you brought along with you today, too, man? And then my producer, EBZ. See, yeah, uh, EBZ, goddamn, coming out of Mobile, Alabama. Come 251, upcoming producer. Yeah, check us out. We gonna come up. We go straight off, fresh off, jump off the porch. For right. sure. Yeah, Welcome, right. guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, right. So, um, we're here in Atlanta. What else you guys got planned? What else you been working on since you've been in the city then? Man, really, man, I just been networking. Networking, networking. Uh, like I said, uh, me and him was chopping it up. We got to run by Magic City later, you know. We got we got a couple plans, trying to get around, really trying to work with the DJs in this city. Okay. That can kind of uh, push us a different kind of way versus at home, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Kind of when you, when you kind of got to go away from home a little bit, you get that handle, got to go somewhere else and do it, you know what I'm saying? Just make it spread, right? Yeah, it's all about expanding, man. Yeah, yeah, you got to expand. You got to expand, for sure. So, so yeah, bro, that's what we really buy. And um, like my brand, 2OG, stands for two original. Mm -hmm. And um, I try to make sure whenever I'm doing anything content-wise, brand-wise, that it's got an original touch to it, my own flavor. Because, um, I mean, I never wanted to be anybody else. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I like being me. And, uh, hey, I'm just ready to go ahead and go where we need to go and do what we need to do. For sure. For real. Yeah, man. How long have you had the brand? How'd you come up with this? Man, I came up with this brand probably about, what is it, 24? Probably about 2018 when I officially stamped my brand. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, you got to get the paperwork. You got to handle the business first. So trademarks, copyrights, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'd have had to uh, make sure all that stuff is in order also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, probably like 2018. Okay. I feel, yeah, when I really made it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he, I, I think it's kind of self-explanatory, like you know. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. You know, what too I'm saying? original. Yeah, it's too original. It just is what it is. I come on here with the flavor, Mobile, Alabama. I'm really from Pritchard, though. Okay, I'm right from, next yeah, to Mobile. Right next to Mobile, it's yeah. all the same. You know, we all show love. You no, know, shout out to Pritchard. Shout out Big Root Slide. Shout out Jay Dirty from the G. Shout out Lil Dirty. You know what I'm talking about? We doing it right, but uh, yeah, man, we we. We all about showing love, networking, and it's enough out here for everybody, bro. Absolutely, yeah. Mainly, you know, from the south, from the dirty. Hmm. So for real, like we 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 just seen a lot coming up. You know what I'm saying? Been been put in a lot of positions that have to overcome. You know what I'm saying? Even just coming up here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual warfare, this bitch, all kind of stuff. So yeah, shit. yeah man, it's real for so. sure. But I know I'm in the right place. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've only had a handful of people from Pritchard on the ports, man. So can you break it down, like the culture there, the way of life, like what's there to do in Pritchard, Alabama, man? Man, ain't nothing in Pritchard to do but to stay in the house. I ain't gonna lie. If you ain't in the street, you ain't got nothing going on, no kind of ties or something, you know, look, stay out the way. Ain't no need for you to be in Pritchard. Now, if you live in Pritchard, it's not necessarily like, you know, people running you down and like mm -hmm. we in New Orleans and somebody, you know, but you can get got being sweet down there. You know, that's just more be a period though. Yeah. You can get got in certain instances. But nine times out of ten, everybody ain't nobody really bothering you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Pritchard just, you know, it's his own city and it's 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 the hood, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's home to me. I feel the safe. I feel the safe is in Pritchard. For real. Yeah, I, I look. I'd rather be in Pritchard than to uh, be in Mobile when it come like down to police and just stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause just being a black male, you know, profiling whatever car you drive, how you look, whatever, whatever, whatever. We still we in the south, self-explanatory. I ain't even trying to go there, mm -hmm. but you know, so we deal with a lot of different kind of aspects of that. So um, Pritchard, I just feel at home. Hell, the time you ain't gotta worry about the police. You know, mm -hmm. all of them kind of cultured in a certain kind of way, whereas to and not judge somebody by one thing versus the other person, you know what I'm saying? So. I dig it. Yeah, yeah, man. So going back to when you were a kid, like what were you into? Like what were some of your hobbies growing up? Man, I used to hoop. I ain't gonna lie, I was a hooper. But I've always written poetry. Poetry, I used my favorite, po uh, my favorite um, type of poem is a haiku. You know what I'm saying? And it's a, uh, 
three line, 21 syllable poem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like if I could conquer a haiku, you know what I'm saying? As far as to make it make enough sense in those three lines, mm -hmm. I could write a whole song for three minutes, you know what I'm saying? Make a hit, you feel me? So I just always, and I always looked up to Pop growing up, you know what I'm saying? Tupac was a big, was a big, um, a big play in my life. I grew up in my hometown, radio station, running around a radio station mm -hmm. and stuff like that because I had family that was part of different things. And uh, so I, I got to see a lot coming up, but really, man, I was a hooper and I, I used to just write on the side. So yeah. I knew out of those two, when I, when I got older, I was going, you know what I'm saying? So basketball didn't really fall through, but doors just start opening for music. So I just paid attention and just kept striving for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned being like around the radio station at a young age. Like, yeah. what was that experience like? Cause yeah. Not a lot of kids get that type of uh, know, you know, yeah, experience. Look, hey, it was different. I can't lie. Simply because, um, like you said, it's not a lot of kids around the radio station. Everybody on passing by is either known well around the city, or when celebrities came in town, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You might get a whiff or something, but uh, like I'm, I'm in there while they're on air. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the room. So uh, like. It's just, it gave, I feel like it gave me a keen ear on music too, because I heard all types of music. And I was there from like, sometimes early in the morning, late at night, you know, type thing. My mom used to drop me off with my, my friend. Mom used to work at the radio station. <laughs> so she used to watch this. Okay. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I, feel like, I feel like that's what really probably kind of catered to my, yeah. my musical kind of ear when it comes to how I write and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because you got the cheat codes. Like, you see yeah. what's going to be played on the radio. Right, right. It's almost like the algorithm just programmed in my mind a certain kind of way when it came to punchlines. Put this word here, put this word there, this phrase go here. You may have a line at the top and you put it at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it gets very detailed and intricate sometimes, but it's, it just comes at an ease for me, really. Yeah. You know, and I just enjoy it so much. So, uh, yeah, man. Radio, yeah. kids. You got a radio station around, try to be around if you want to be in music. Because I feel like it helped me, like, really musically inclined. I played the trumpet when I was little. Okay. Played the trumpet, a little bit of the keyboard, a little bit, but I ain't really know, really, that's him. <laughs> that's the maestro on the keyboard. That guy right, EBZ, he the maestro. But, uh, yeah, I, I, do, I do what I'm supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when did you, like, make that transition from, you know, doing poems to actually writing songs then? Oh, man. Six. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Cause it was like, okay, back in the day, it was a, uh, it was a platform called Audacity. Okay, yeah. And uh, I, I messed around, going over friends' house, and I saw some they, they older brothers had on their computers. I was like, what is that? I want to do that, cause I like to do that anyway. So I need this, whatever, whatever. I ain't even have a real mic. I had like one of those old <laughs> computer mics, and uh, so yeah, I, I wrote my first song like when I was six, and it was called uh, J Day. Oh, based on my real name, which I'm not gonna disclose on here, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Banco, but uh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> so how did we come up with Banco, and how long you been going by that name now? Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen, and Banco stands for uh, Bet Against All Betters, mm -hmm. basically. Bet against all odds, you know what I'm saying? As if I'm betting on myself. And um, the name just derived from me, the way I carry myself. I don't give up, I don't stop. I bet on myself all the way, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I've only seen progress and abundance as a result of doing that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just stick with it, man. And, um, but yeah, Banco comes from, it's actually a Spanish word. It's a Spanish word. But yeah, people call it out like in the game, Banco, yeah. whatever, whatever. But you know, a lot of people don't know that. But that's where it really comes from, from like a Spanish heritage kind of thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you had to go through in your life that you had to overcome? I gotta smoke it out. <laughs> Man. Words couldn't explain. All I know is I trust in God. I stay focused and I do what I gotta do. Point blank period. When it comes to trials, 
I can sit here and say a thousand things that people went through. I done went through the car issues, the losing the car, the apartment issues, the losing the apartment, the, uh, the uh, coming up as a kid, you know, we ain't got nothing but noodles in the house. You coming home eating rice and salmon balls every day, salmon patties, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was like, a lot of people say that it's, it's, it's so much love during that time that you don't really see. And it's, Cause you so focused on trying to get out that situation. Mm -hmm. So then like, once you get out that situation, if you got enough conscience, you will probably look back and be like, damn, like, I kind of missed that, how that was, and how I felt, <laughs> and how I looked at, you know what I'm saying? Little, little simple stuff like that. And um, I just feel like that's, that, that helps, um, I guess you could say, connect with other people that probably went through similar things by just expressing it. So I try to express different things like that through my music, really. Yeah. You can learn a lot by my life if you really listen to my music. And um, all y'all, yeah, all of it true. Hmm. All of it. I ain't talking about no Percocet. <laughs> now, we need some more real life music these days, man. Everyone's on you on that, like you said, that Percocet shit or it's that drill shit. Yeah, I mean, it's ain't like, no wrong to each his own. I ain't trying to judge nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody, have, everybody indulge a little bit, have fun. I'm just saying, I don't make music like that. You feel me? What I make, I try to make timeless classic kind of. Kind of stuff. Yeah. Like I said, man, pop was a big influence, so it's a lot to talk about. It's a lot to talk about. And I'm really just getting started. Like, I'm scratching. So I got so much stuff right now, that ain't, you know. Hmm. So I'm just really just building up the momentum. And as it's going, I'm just going to stay with it. Yeah. What was it about Pox music that, that kind of drew you in then? The relatability. The relatability, of course. And then. I don't know, man, like, I just, it was something drew me to pop at, like, real young age. Like, I first, I listened to my first, I had a pop cassette tape. It had a, a, a A side and a B side, and it was Me Against the World, and it was uh, uh, old school, yeah, and, and the, the actual song, Me Against the World, it was on that, on that. And uh, I was about five playing that in a, yeah, I was walking around elementary school with the All Eyes on Me CD with a CD player hanging out my backpack with the headphones on. <laughs> For real, you know what I'm saying? So like, it was it was at a very young age. Like he he raised me, cause like cliche, parents certain parents don't stand to their like my dad. He wasn't he wasn't really you know as uh, fatherly as he should have been. So I learned a lot of game from different places, OGs I was around, and then also you know music and going within myself. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm really in tune when it comes to that spiritual side, so um, I feel like that's how I really probably latched on to a lot of information. For real, okay. for real. Yeah, it, see something over there, what is that? Now you wanna, you wanna ask another question about it, you know what I'm saying? Cause you wanna learn if it's something different. But, yeah man. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, his music is definitely timeless cause yeah. here we are almost 20 years after he's, fat. Well, actually right. what is it, 27? Yeah, 27. After he passed, people still talking about his music and his influence, man. That's right. You know, for an artist, I'm sure that's like the ultimate goal is for your music to live right, on like right, that. Right, too, right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, and that's what I'm aiming for. I don't want to just indulge too far to the hype to why I'm caring so much about what they think. I'm giving up everything I know better to do because I'm trying to get a dollar. Mm -hmm. I can get a dollar. That's easy. I can make a, a song that can bring people together some kind of way, give a, do, a new kind of different kind of insight. Um, but yeah, you want to aim for those timeless kind of songs. Like Michael Jackson, he timeless. Pop, he timeless. Bob Marley, he timeless. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, um, and it's the, it's the down to earthness that's behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like what I'm getting from you telling me you popped a perk. No disrespect, but I'm just saying, come on, y'all. You feel me? Like, it, it's cool. We all out there. We know what's going on. But at the same time, y'all talking too much. I'm just saying. No, that's real. Talking to the police. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they listen to everything. They know what I'm saying. That's the main thing they going to hop on. The dust on. Hey, to each his own. I'm going to do me. Yeah, we see that shit in the YSL trial right now. It's like all their evidence is lyrics and social media posts. Right. It's like, damn. Right, 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 right. If and that's not an eye-opener for everyone, then 
I don't know what it is. Right, 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 right. I just, hey, that's why I, stay, I try to stay in my lane. But, like I said, I ain't trying to talk about nobody. I'm just trying to kind of bring awareness to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I care about all my, I care about everybody. But I care about my black people too. And there's a lot of us that's, that's portraying that in the music more than other things that we could. You know what I'm saying? You can put that in there too, but go ahead and talk about a little, talk about both sides. You gonna talk about this, talk about this too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk about what come with it. Yeah, talk, talk about, about how you yeah. walked in there and you seen brush stiff on the floor and you, you know what I'm saying? Talk about all that. I'm just talking about the, you in the club and the girls hopping on in and all that. I'm just talking about that. Talk about both sides. No, that's real. Because yeah. I think at this day and age, everyone knows someone that's, you know, that's probably passed away from that shit. Right, 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 right man. And, uh, or people that's just friends of a friend, you know, and it'll blow you who it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll be somebody you never would have thought. Like, dang. They was going to college to be a, a, a nurse, a doctor, or whatever, and they was doing it, golly, at one time. That's all it takes, one slip up. Yeah. It ain't worth it. it ain't worth it. Real shit. So you and EBZ, how does this connection happen then? Man, me and him, I ain't going to lie, I've been knowing him for real since. Oh, shit, God. man, God. goddamn. It really was eighth grade. It really was well, like middle, like, middle school, really school and shit. And uh, we met and got down. See, we met like in, in uh, with algebra. We was like in ninth grade. This yeah. shit like way back, like 2010 type shit. Yeah. And we, as soon as I came in that bitch, I seen him. And then just all of a sudden we we connected. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, cause our relationship kind of like started off. Our friendship started off kind of like the shit we was going through at home and shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why we related on related on the shit going through shit at home with our people and not being able to really like, really like, feel like a child. Like, cause 13, 14, you got down going through PTSD, post-traumatic stress and shit. And mm -hmm. it's like, you don't know the diagnosis of what you going through. Cause like, the circumstance and environment that you in, it make you feel like that shit is normal. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started with me and him on that shit. And then the music shit, I always been a part of my life since, since I've been on earth. I've always been around music. Cause my pops, played in the church. I come from a church background and I started off playing the drums and shit. So, so during that background, the beat making and producing shit, it just came evident from watching my pops. And I was already writing poetry. Hmm. So it just kind of got like peanut butter and jelly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, oh, now I got to beat the put Yeah, like, right. Well, I'm right. hooping, he making, he making these crazy tracks. Like he can hear, he can hear any track. He ain't got to use no loop, none of that. He going to go play it on the keyboard. He going to go make it right. Right, just like right how it is, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Hmm. And um, I saw I saw the talent that he had because like he was making like the old school. I was, I was on, was on goddamn Korg Triton. Like yeah, he was on with the, the Triton, yeah, the floppy disk with shit. the floppy disk. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't jump God off damn. the computer. In two, yeah, what this? What this no, 2012. This 2000. He got floppy disk with a Triton. And I don't even shit, know nothing about this. this with the L. Back, yeah, and this shit go back like goddamn. Core Triton floppy disk yeah. amp mixer two speakers right and just right. got down you going crazy in that bitch right and, and he just and when I found out he made beats and I just grew up rapping freestyle with my cousins and all that and rapping doing what I was doing it just came like we went over there one day playing the game you like hey man you want to hear a track got the freestyle and just went from there that's it you know from there man what year was that shit man I've been doing this shit since like '03 so me and him came together like. 2010, we started freestyling and rapping and shit like 2011. Cause we used okay. to be on YouTube and shit, just going through beats. And hmm. when he, I used to go over his crib and we'd be on 2K and shit. But then when he finally came to my shit, I was like, what well, nigga, we on the game, fuck the game. Come on nigga, let's hit, check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So from then on, it started. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's, how that, that's how that been since then. So what's that chemistry like today when you guys are cooking up? Oh man. The shit, the shit is like it's scary. It's a dream. It's, it's like, almost like a, like, I'm like, yeah. The connection between me and him, the shit is so, it's genuine. So I, I know what to, I know what to do and make shit. I know what he like. I know, he, I know what he'll, I know what he like and I know what he'll go crazy over. Mm. And sometimes we'll, he'll just pull up at my shit or I load up my shit in my car and shoot to his shit. And then we just go to just doing, just Brain making storm. shit. We Brain just go storm. from. Song right. to song, I might right. we might have a vibe session where I might pull up a bunch of tracks and we just listening and writing and, free, and he freestyling some shit. Right. And we be like, no matter, you know what I'm saying, all some shit like that. Cause we uh like like about a week a week and a half ago, 
I gotta tell this shit, nigga. My sister friend came over. She came <laughs> over. Motherfucker fine as a motherfucker. <laughs> Seeing that ass, I'm like, man, that ain't no BBL, dog. That's all real. <laughs> bitch, bitch, I'm like, okay, fuck that. So he looking at the bitch come through there. I'm looking at her. Next thing you know, we just come up with a song, throwing that ass. Throwing that ass. We, the shit was like. It really forward. got a live name to it, but. It, it's yeah, like, that's, that, yeah, that's, that that's, that's what we're gonna, that we gonna put out in that a little bit. <laughs> okay. But type shit, that's, on, that's, that's coming up. Yeah. But yeah we, did she hear the song? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah. The thing about it, she fucked with it so hard. She came in that bitch and was like, oh, what that was you saying? He was screaming the same freestyling the shit. Yeah, I was like, I like rehearsing the, the hook type yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do it on here, that bitch a hit. But, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I was doing it out loud and she came from out like the back room to my son. Hey, what y'all was saying? Hey, that shit was hard. I'm like, well, you, she just don't know about her thick ass. By her ass, she not even on it. It was by her. We was on some, we was on a whole nother vibe. Huh. She came through that bitch, we like, fuck Hey, you, shout out to you. Shit. You, know you gotta you put her mean. in the video now. Hey, you know she what? is somewhat. She can't come. You know what I'm saying she she gonna fuck with it. You know <laughs> all that shy shit. She gonna be like, what? She gonna be so blow that it really was about her. Mm, Influenced by her. Next, you know she didn't got that. She gonna be in that bitch. So yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna get it squared away for sure. For okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, you got the new single out right now, Scandalous. Man, talk about that one. Oh man. <laughs> man, look. Scandalous is basically what it is. <coughs> it's about dealing with scandalous women or dealing with a scandalous person. If you dealt with somebody scandalous, you can relate to the song, Point Blank Period. And that basically sum the song basically sums up different experiences over time. You know what I'm saying? And uh so yeah, it's it's, it's all true, but it's just the fact of uh yeah, like, I don't know. People people crazy. I don't know. You be like, you be want to say something you don't want to say. But, um, I don't know how you say about this. Nah, you ain't got to touch on that. Mate, basically, like he said, <laughs> by a different scenario, when you hear in the song how you spit, you talking about different situations. Just listen. Different, I'm putting like different this. Holes Just listen to the intro. Type and shit. You'll get, you'll get it. You feel me? You'll get it. Okay. But it ain't really about, it's kind of about her, but it's like the song, like if the shoot, if you listen and that shit hit you at home. It ain't home, about her at all. That's the but point. the thing about shit, the thing about the shit, if, if that's in you and you ain't shit, you scandalous, and you can take a fit, but you gonna still jam to that bitch though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what hey, it is. If the shoe fit, wait, I ain't said nothing. Real shit. I ain't said nothing. And what about Better? What about that song? Better, oh yeah. And that Better is really, man, Man, I went through so much just to get that video done, man. Like, oh, uh, I, I went to LA. I had to do a show in Ventura at the uh, Majestic with Bobby Schmurter. And uh, after the show, like the next day or whatever, we, I got to, you know, chilling on Sunset and all this other stuff. And we hooked up with a group of people. You know what I'm saying? Hooked up with a group of people out there. And, but what's funny is, in that video, I actually have Lunis in that video. Hmm. The team, the actual team, and Cuzzo. Cuzzo's in the video, uh, a member of Lunis. Uh, so, I mean, for me, man, it, it, it really just describes everything getting better, man. Coming into this year, everything that you went through, all the obstacles I overcame, everything I dodged, you know, how God kept me. It's just saying how I'm better now. You know what I'm saying? I'm better. I didn't, you know, stuff, things, things that got better. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's just me doing my thing, man. We was out there parlaying out there with the six foes and stuff, man, stopping traffic, running red lights. And don't nobody, hey, don't, don't nobody play with them people up there. They were big C's. Don't nobody play with them people. So shout out to them boys too. Shout out uh, Grind Till We Rich. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man. Nah, I fuck with that song too, man. That's all. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I yeah. appreciate it, man. I got, I got, I got a lot more to come. I can't wait to share it with the world. Hmm. So, is a new project in the works? So you kind of, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a project in the work right now. I'm just kind of, um, kind of, kind of um, taste testing a few things. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the songs, I'm what I'm trying to do as far as uh, I just 
trying to bring people in, trying to show people. Um, me. Uh, also, what can be done differently musically. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I try to be original in every form and every way. So I'm gonna find something different to do every time. Hmm. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to bring people to my world, man. Show people what Banco talking about. And um, yeah, and, and just grow, man. For real, I'm just trying to grow, keep growing. Is it growing for the better? I feel that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's some of your goals for your music career? Like, what you trying to get out this shit? Man. I'm trying to, I would say I'm trying to really just show another way, like, and when I say that, I don't mean just like how I rap. I mean like lifestyle wise, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of different things that people do or show off. You can be a certain way and not do all that. You can be fresh. You know what I'm saying? And I have on Louis. You know what I'm saying? I have on Dior. You can be fresh. You can be cool. He ain't about just saying, hey, let me go spend $6,500 on this shirt because everybody gonna think I'm cool. Fuck the folk. <laughs> fuck them people, man. Because if they, if they ain't fucking with you already, they don't fuck with you at all. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no sense in tricking it, trying to be something you ain't, and all that. I'm just trying to show something different, man. I'm trying to, trying to, Hey, I got so many, I got some hits. I got hits, mark my words. <laughs> I got hits, but the thing about it is, really musically, I'm trying to help my family. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, of course, everybody say great generational curses, but do they mean it? I mean it. Uh, I really want to do something for the future. Like I got a plan I don't want to talk about, but something that can help like the whole nation in a certain kind of way. Um, without, um, without stepping on toes, you know? Helping everybody as far as like what's going on in the world. You know, like the food, you know, it's like, um, they talk about chemicals in the food, chemicals in the water, all kind of stuff like that. And I just got a few ideas that I would like to, you know, partake in. So music can open up a door for that for sure because it's a platform where people can listen to you. Mm -hmm. And as long as you can get across to them a certain way, that's all that matter. No, that's when they feel you, they feel you. So you just make them feel you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, just use, feel. yeah, use the music to open up other doors, right. huh? Yeah, right, 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 yeah. right, 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 exactly. Uh, you guys want to plug your social media? So everyone know where to follow you guys at? Yeah, man, you can follow me at 2OG Banco, and it's not a zero, that's a O. 2OG, B-A-N-C-O, on all platforms. Just search it on Google. All right, me. It's all, my IG is E, don't give a AF. It's E underscore underscore don't D O N T another underscore A F. So I'ma start like flooding and post posting shit because we on a, we just on a mission and everything coming together flowing right. So yeah. So it's we, it's getting together. It's gonna get right. Okay. And you guys got a shout out you like to give before you wrap <laughs> it up here? Another shout out. Like I said, man, shout out Jay Dirty, shout out Big Root Slide, shout out my mama. First of all, though, I ain't gonna lie, shout out God, because it went for him when none of us be here. And um, um, shout out EB's for ride with me, shout out Dirty Glove Bounce, shout out Carlos, Carlos Brown. Hey, y'all give a global rhythm when he jump off. Um, shout out everybody, man, shout out, shout out to the world. I just want to show love, man. I appreciate it. I'm full of gratitude. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, like I say, man. Look, it's, it's a dream come true. I was at home watching on TV, too. <laughs> now I'm on TV watching you. That's right. That's right, real shit. For real, man. I got my shout-outs. Oh, um, shout-out to God. Shout-out to my mom, my pops, the fam, 
Shout out to the shout out to the city, cause at the end of the day, that's home. And two five day, one, two five child, one shit, man. mob town shit. Shout out y'all, man. And we support, we fuck with everything coming through out there, bitch. Shout out all the artists from the my world. city. Shout out all our How artists. we coming? Right. And right. shit like that. And right. End of the day, end of the day, this shit got down. It's, it's moving. It's getting right. And through the grace of God, we to keep the faith and stay right. and stay on the shit that we own spiritually and on this path. I can't do nothing but I can't do nothing. Be be proud. So I'm just ready. I'm just ready for what's next. Right. And what's next? What's next? <laughs> Let's get it. Real. Cha ching. Scandalous. Stay the blowing on my phone. But she won't catch me slipping. I knew about all along. She's scandalous. I don't know what the fuck she on.